Unlikely things to hear on a property program. Next, Cash in the Attic. Tennis player Pat Cash has a nervous breakdown <laughs> and decides to haunt his estranged family. <laughs> Today, we help Al McGrahi swap his one-bedroom cell for a Libyan place in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> this couple's grand design is to turn an abattoir into an old folks home <laughs> by changing the sign. <laughs> I'm Sarah Beanie and I'm not pregnant. <laughs> can't decide between the two properties? Well, you're an MP. Why don't you claim for them both? <laughs> Thing is, I have actually heard that in a property programme in Scotland. <laughs> And remember, the prices of property can go down as well as plummet. <laughs> you know I said those ghastly beams, what on earth are they for? It turns out they were for holding your house up. <laughs> Hello, I'm Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen, and I'm so posh I've actually got a swan for a penis. <laughs> Michael has always wanted to live in the country, and now he does. His business has collapsed, and he's living in a caravan in a field in Herefordshire. <laughs> Even on a collapsing market, you can still make money from a flat like this. We invited three different estate agents to come and value it, then harvested their organs. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Homes Under the Hammer, where we attack Eamon Holmes with a hammer. <laughs> Next, on location, 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 Kirsty and Phil finally go at it like dogs. <laughs> and obviously this will all be included in the day. Oh, my God, he's back early. Quick, out of garden! <laughs> <laughs> well, we've visited five properties so far, but they've all had alarms, so no joy there. <laughs> Very spacious and with wonderful views, but this flat is in Dundee, so it might as well be built out of shit. <laughs> 